Adam's Retro Film Reviews, Swarm of the Snakehead 2006. Something's out there. What are those things? Something unnatural. Is there anything quite like stumbling on an absolute gem of a B-movie? Amazon Prime must be the hands down winner for independent cinema right now. Well, in terms of mainstream online streaming sites anyway. Enter Swarm of the Snakehead. Directed by Frank Lammer and Joel Denning, Swarm of the Snakehead introduces us to Barrow Springs, a middle American town in the heart of Maryland. The story it aims to tell is about a young Emerson family returning to their father's hometown, where their daughters get mixed up in a plot involving a bunch of terrifying creatures that threaten the good townsfolk. What the film is actually about is Mayor Janice Appleyard attempting to cash in on the upcoming fishing festival, the ultimate fish off by inviting famous television fishing celebrity Daryl Daly to the town to kick off proceedings. But things go badly wrong when a horde of terrifying snake-headed fish-bodied monsters emerge from the lake and start eating up the town. As the mayor refuses to close the upcoming event for fear of losing money, it's up to Daryl Daly and the lusty Miss Barrow Springs to try and stop the beast before it's too late. Well, that and the Emerson family, whose roots in the small town might reveal where the snakeheads are coming from, and more importantly, how to stop them. Swarm of the Snakeheads is lightning in a bottle. It's a comedy horror that sets out to be funny and gory and silly, and manages to achieve all of those things and more. I think I laughed the entire way through, and significantly, I was laughing with the movie, not at it. You may be aware that the Zucker Brother comedy classic Airplane was the script to 1957's Zero Hour but with jokes added. Swarm of the Snakehead is the airplane to Spielberg's Jaws. Some scenes even appear to be line for line, particularly the scene where we meet Gunnar Hansen of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre fame. But the real star, the keystone to the film's success, is director Frank Lammer in the role of Daryl Daly. Like a Poundland Bruce Campbell, Daryl is always a treat on screen. With his quirked eyebrow, ridiculous lines and face of rubber, Lammer was born for ridiculousness and it's never not funny to see him playing against the town's elite, or the snakeheads themselves. It's clear that Swarm of the Snakeheads was a community project, likely made in the town and for the town, but it manages to transcend that. It's a legitimately funny comedy with some questionable effects and some even more questionable acting, but it oodles with cartoony charm and just makes you want to sit down and watch it all over again. Find it on Amazon Prime, you won't regret it. Cletus? Buford? Tiny? Father O'Malley? <laughs>